All right, I can't handle the silence. <laughs> so um, that was a test, mate. Like, that was a test to see how long you'd last. Everyone <laughs> <had to be. laughs> Thirty-seven seconds. <laughs> um, I wanted to say that um, I'm going to be creating my first RFC for the PHP language. Um, I've been studying and researching a topic for months now, and I think there's a, a function missing in PHP that I'm going to uh, have a punt at introducing it. So um, other languages have um, array transposing functions or behaviors in them, and uh, PHP doesn't. And I think it would be really, really handy if you could just pass in, say, uh, 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 a result set from a, a SQL query or something and have it instantly, you pass the, that whole uh, multi-dimensional array into a, an array transpose function, and it will convert the rows to columns and columns to rows for you, which will be uh, very handy if you are doing something like uh, a plot a lot graph or something something like that, some kind of graphic where you need it to be spun on itself. It needs to be uh, diagonally flipped, as some people call it. So, uh, arguably, it's something that PHP doesn't need, and I expect that some of the arguments against my case will be that it's not essential, that PHP isn't trying to uh, have an everything in the kitchen sink all in the all in the core. So uh, some of the arguments will be, well, we don't, not everybody needs that. And we've been getting along just fine for the last 20 years. And um, if somebody needs it, just create a library that people can uh, compose her into. Um, so that's the only thing probably that's going to stop it. But uh, in the last sort of round of RFCs, there was something called array underscore is underscore list. And if you haven't come across this one yet, what it does effectively is that it tells you if the array that you pass in is an indexed array starting at zero with no gaps in the keys. So it's, it's just a bunch of integers all in a row. So, and then I asked myself, Jesus, why does anybody need that? That seems like the most useless thing. Uh, why wouldn't you just, if you needed to check such a thing, then why wouldn't you just take the array, check if it equals, like equals equals, um, or triple equals, um, array values of the same array? Because array values, of course, will re-index your array. So why wouldn't you just do that? It's a one-liner. How silly to create a new function for something that can be done in a one-liner, like a one expression. But then people explained it to me that um, by using that technique, that one-liner, you effectively double the memory cost. So if you've got uh, an array that has hundreds of thousands of rows in it or a million rows in it, that technique will double it and end up being you know, quite inefficient and potentially max out your memory. So that's why they created this very obscure uh, So. What I, the reason I'm putting forth this array transpose function is that I found uh, across Stack Overflow that there are, you know, tens, I'd say there are tens of pages uh, devoted to people trying to transpose an array. And some of them are verbose, some of them are limited in what they can do, some of them are outright broken and wrong, and people have been copying them and upvoting them, and it's not right. Um, if you've ever seen, uh, it's it's a, actually a bit of a sneaky trick, but if you've ever seen a array map with the first parameter that is null and then your array, that will transpose. But if you, the array that you pass in is a two-dimensional array that only has one row in it, then you don't get back a two-dimensional array. It actually reduces it to a single uh, flat array. So it effectively breaks the structure. And many people, I think, are not building code that relies on that. So it's, it's inviting bugs into projects. So um, I'm going to document my trials of this endeavor. And eventually, I'll be presenting it at the PHP meetup. Um, 
at the request of uh, Nathan Dench, who organizes that one. Um, but it might go down as an epic fail, but first time, got you got to try something. Yeah, we'll see. What's the <laughs> scenario that you've worked out that you actually need it? I don't personally need it, but, um, well, there have been in, in the past where I've needed to transpose something uh, and it's specifically for a graph. So, you know, if, if you're passing something to a Google API, uh, their graphics and whatever, for whatever reason, you weren't able to uh, transpose it in your SQL query. This would be something that you would uh, take that result. So you do like a fetch all and uh, you would nest that inside of the transpose and then you nest that inside of JSON and code and then kick that back to whatever you're feeding to, to JavaScript. And it would effectively be a tidy little solution. The alternative is that you have to pass it through two nested for eaches uh, to interchange, uh, to swap around the, the keys from the two levels. So it's just, it's prettier, but it also presents, um, as I said, the option to uh, alleviate those potential bugs where people are using the wrong thing. Yeah, it might, it might not be too, um, too useful. It might not have many uses. Um, well, it's also an RFC, so it could be shut down entirely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And another thing is I don't code in C, so I won't be creating the actual core scripting for it. So someone else will have to not only embrace what I'm saying, but also code it. Yeah. But now that um, the PHP project is uh, now funded and they've got people that are paid to do the work, It'll be interesting to see how much work gets done, and if if it you know if it's slower or faster than it was before. <clears throat> in a similar in a similar sort of circumstance, <clears throat> that um, dynamic cross tab equivalent is um, is something that is missing from both uh, Microsoft SQL and um, MySQL. That would be so handy if you could actually do that just in one function. Uh, but yeah, so I can see some definite value in what you're... What you're uh, but uh, I need to make sure that we're clear. I'm not sure if I know what cross tab is. Is it pivoting? Pivot, yeah, pivot table, basically. Because because transposing actually isn't pivoting. I don't know, but but in a similar slightly different. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, similar uh, sort of uh, it's so uh, something that would be super handy and a lot of people would like a dynamic cross tab. Yeah. Or a yeah, I think you're right. Probably more so than having a transpose feature would be the cross tab feature. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people they don't know the dynamic columns that they're going to be starting with, and it becomes a headache because they have to either pre-query to find out what, what columns they're going to be flipping around or uh, they do it in another language outside of SQL. So uh, yeah, it's, it's janky. It's not great. Yeah. 